doing a cooperative project between art and math is a wonderful, wonderful way for the kids to get a chance to explore and connect geometry and forms they look at in art. So what we did here was we created something called paper dowels, which is newspaper rolled around wood dowels to create these long strands of tightly wound paper, which are very strong. And then, then, we, then we build different shapes and objects out of them. In many cases, the kids have to have very precise measurements or else things don't go together neatly or cleanly. They also have to have a good understanding of geometry. For example, when we started building, the kids realized, oh, we need to build triangles for strength. And they suddenly needed the Pythagorean theorem. So they had to look, actually look up and, and double check the numbers to make sure, oh, if I want a right angle, I've got to have these measurements. So there was a lot of precise measurement going in, and they had to remeasure. And they sometimes discovered that, oh, wait, if they didn't measure it quite right, they had to start over. So there's a lot of you know, wonderful exploration of the connections between mathematics and art. Many interesting objects have been built. Some of them are very traditional geometry objects. Oh, I want to build a nice, clean, good cube. Someone else is building a Christmas tree. Someone else is building a gingerbread house. So there's a wide variety of artistic connections, but it still ties back to the mathematics. One of the things that's important is the notion of learning. How does learning happen? In a classroom, often you're working with direct instruction or telling the kids certain things. But telling it is a lot different than experiencing it. What we're looking at in the makerspace is the idea of actually experiencing, experience, experiencing the geometry. We're trying to get the kids to understand it. So the physical act of actually putting the triangles together changes radically how they think about them because now they can physically see them. And when they don't work, they begin to ask the question, oh, why didn't this work the way it was supposed to? So suddenly they're seeing the connection between the mathematics and the real world in a practical sense.